the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Brethren, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. Almighty God and Father, we confess to thee, to one another, and to the whole host of heaven, that we have sinned against thee, through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in those things which we have left undone. For the sake of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and by the power of the Holy Ghost, raise us up to serve thee in newness of life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Turn us then, O God, our Saviour, and let thine anger cease from us. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Have mercy upon me, O God, and hearken unto my prayer. O Saul dwelleth under the defence of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say unto the Lord, Thou art my hope and my stronghold. My God, in him will I trust. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunter And from the noisome pestilence He shall defend thee under his wings And thou shalt be safe under his feathers His faithfulness and truth shall be thy shield and buckler Thou shalt not be afraid for any terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the sickness that destroyeth in the noonday. A thousand shall fall beside thee, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee, yea, with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and see the reward of the ungodly, for the Lord art my hope. Thou hast set thine house of defence very high. There shall no evil happen unto thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee. To keep thee in all thy ways, they shall bear thee in their hands. That thou hurt not thy foot against a stone, thou shalt go upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou tread under thy feet. 
because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him up because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will hear him. Yea, I am with him in trouble. I will deliver him and bring him to honour. With long life will I satisfy him. and show him my salvation. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. Have mercy upon me, O God, and hearken unto my prayer. Thou, O Lord, art in the midst of us, and we are called by thy name. Leave us not, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me, O Lord, as the apple of thine eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, while we and God as well as sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace. According to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles. And to be the glory of thy people, Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son. And to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, 
that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto Thee. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Visit, we beseech thee, O Lord, this place, and drive far from it all the snares of the enemy. Let thy holy angels dwell herein to preserve us in peace, and may thy blessing be upon us evermore. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who of thy tender love towards mankind has sent thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh, and to suffer death upon the cross, that all mankind should follow the example of this great humility. Mercifully grant that we may both follow the example of his patience, and also be made partakers of his resurrection, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who hatest nothing that thou hast made, and dost forgive the sins of all them that are penitent, create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we worthily lamenting our sins, and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of thee, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. To thee before the close of day, Creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wonted favour thou wouldst be our God and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasies, tread underfoot a ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee, doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and most merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, bless us and keep us this night and evermore. Amen.